When I was thinking about where to go to graduate school, I had come down to two offers. And then one day, uh, I get a call on my phone. It's Bob Full, my current advisor. And he just asked me, uh, why haven't you accepted our offer yet? I just felt very much like I was wanted here. There's an importance to instilling community within the graduate student body that is at Berkeley. My research focuses on how we can improve undergraduate STEM education by making it more inclusive, interpersonal, and interdisciplinary. With this greater inclusivity, you actually get a greater diversity of thought, and with greater diversity of thought, you really truly get more innovative results. So I think that's huge. As a Muslim, one of your obligations is to promote a sense of belonging with your community around you, whether it's your family, your friends, Muslims, non-Muslims, doesn't matter. My mom was the most uh, welcoming person in the world. She made anyone feel like they were um, special. She like suddenly passed away in my first year of graduate school. Uh, and I didn't think like I could continue. But the support system that I had at Berkeley with my advisors, with my peers, with my mentors, just made it very clear that like this is something like I need to continue and I can continue. I have a diversity and community fellowship through the Office for Graduate Diversity. Um, this allows me to be the graduate student coordinator for STEM FYI or First Year Initiative. This is a graduate student group on campus that's all about promoting the first year graduate student experience and making it better, especially for those from non-dominant backgrounds, underrepresented minorities. So really what this diversity fellowship means for me is that Berkeley is supporting efforts related to advancing diversity, equity, inclusion, not just by saying it, but by doing it, by putting financial backing towards it. It's an honor to, to be a part of that.